Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another VSL Serving Suggestion, a series where we take a piece from orchestrationrecipes.com and share MIDI programming tips using our Synchron Prime Edition. My name is Shannon Moore, and we've had a lot of fun here so far with the serving suggestions. We've already presented a good variety of music, from brief classical moments to heroic fanfares, and sprinkled in some humorous pieces as well. Now we're going to slow things down a bit and create a piece that will surely tug at your heartstrings a little. With this recipe, we will bring in our soft imperial piano. It is completely free and available to everyone, regardless of whether you are brand new to VSL or have been with us since the beginning. It will complement our piece very well and add another layer of emotion. This video is the first video of the Orchestration Recipes Volume 2, so don't forget to check out all of the super easy orchestration recipe tutorials found on Philip Johnston's website. So let's get started! This is how two years to the day will sound with our Prime Edition. Aw, don't be sad. We'll try to cheer you up with our MIDI programming tips. In this serving suggestion, we will start with the piano as the lead instrument. We already covered two ways on how to add some tempo variation in the previous videos, the humanization slider inside the player and the tempo track. For this emotional solo line, we will use the third way, manual timing manipulation. By changing note starts and endings, especially by delaying them slightly, you can really transport the melancholic emotion of the piece, most noticeably in bar 5 where the timing is off the grid by more than an eighth note. The best way to go about achieving this is by playing the line on a MIDI keyboard, but also manually editing it will bring great results. Let's choose our microphone preset. In our case, the long reverb of the Soft Imperial works perfectly. We can skip the patch selection and use MIDI velocity as the only tool for phrasing. Once again, recording your performance on your keyboard is a great option to get the feeling right, or you can adjust the velocity values manually in your DAW. As a finishing touch, we are going to use a new slider, the Dynamic Range Slider. This slider works much like a MIDI compressor. With the default value of 127, a simple phrase sounds like this. Now when we move the slider, the quiet passages will be played back louder, so if it is set to zero, the quiet samples used in the same phrase will sound way louder. This is a great playing aid for when you're playing soft passages in general. We will go for a value in the middle. Some more fine-tuning. We added some random humanization delay again. For this instrument, this slider is hidden, but you can find it in the control tab. A very high value of 110 increases the delayed note starts and brings in even more emotion. We'll add some more refinements during the final mixing step, but for now, our morning piano sounds like this. Having finished the piano part as the main melody, we're going to add the oboe counter melody as an accompaniment. We have chosen oboe 1 with the Velocity Crossfade Sus and the Classic Room Mix preset. The only articulation used is Legato Con Vibrato. Phrasing is achieved with the mod wheel where the first three notes are put to one phrase with the climax in bar 3 and the last four notes will have a crescendo until bar 7. As we have done in previous recipes, we will increase the dynamic bandwidth by adding the expression slider with a very similar curve to the mod wheel and use the timbre adjust slider for the phrase decays. Now the oboe melody sounds perfect by itself, but combined with the piano, the third note stands out. We recommend to reduce MIDI CC1 for the third note to blend in more. As a finishing touch, we'll sprinkle some automatic humanization value again by adjusting the slider to a value around 25 and here it is, our counter melodic oboe.
Before starting on our flautando strings, we need to adjust the MIDI file in a few places. Since we want smooth legato transitions, it is required to create individual tracks for each section and not use one generic strings tutti patch. We will split the original MIDI into seven parts and end up with two tracks for the first violins, two tracks for the second violins, two tracks for the violas, and one cello track for the flautando part. It is up to you on how you would like to distribute the instruments. Just make sure that the two instruments never play back the same note and articulation, as this can easily result in phasing effects. Double check that there are overlaps between the notes to ensure that real legato transitions are applied. Also for a realistic playback, the note endings for both phrases need to be adjusted. The automatic humanization slider we apply later on only takes care of the start of the note. After this preparation work, we will go through our four steps again. Step 1. Instrument and Preset Selection In our first step, make sure that all seven tracks are played back with the Velocity Crossfade Susmod Dynamic Preset and the Lush Long Mixer Preset. Step 2. Preparation as the Synchron Prime Edition does not come with flautando articulations, we'll have to cheat a little to achieve a flautando effect. A combination of legato and time stretch tremolo will create a sound very close to real flautandos. Therefore, we will create our own custom presets. To do this, open any of the tracks. We'll pick the first violin's one instrument. Create a new custom preset by clicking here. Drag and drop the patch called Legato AT plus RS Soft to the first slot. This is the Legato patch with soft attack and soft release. Enable the parallel mode by clicking on this icon. Make sure it is highlighted in blue. Then go to the Edit tab and change the parallel mode to Mix, which will always play back both slots simultaneously. Drag and drop the tremolo patch to the second slot and also change the parallel mode to mix. This patch will now sound like this. You hear that we have a legato transition with some tremolo, but no flotando just yet. So let's go back to the edit tab and apply some real time time stretching to the tremolo patch. Enable time stretching, set the destination BPM to 60, which will play back the tremolo with half the speed. Now we move the velocity crossfade slider, CC1, to the value of zero and only control the dynamic range with expression. Voila! If you play back this patch with very low velocity, it will sound like this. If you want, you can rename the custom patches now, but this is purely for cosmetic reasons. These steps now have to be repeated for all instruments, with some minor variations. At the beginning of bar 6, we used the portamento articulation, so for this one note transition in the first violins 1, we need to create a second custom preset, with the only difference being that we use portamento instead of legato. Especially for the top note, you'll hear the soft attack patch is important for the very delicate beginning of the piece. Later on, the normal attack sounds slightly better, so we changed the bass patch to the normal attack and soft release patch called Legato RS Soft for second violins, violas, and cellos. Step 3. Basic Phrasing the phrasing of the flautano strings is pretty straightforward, as we'll only use the expression slider. Velocity crossfade would destroy the flautando feeling. Add a slight crescendo until bar 4, followed by a decay, and apply the same in the second phrase with the climax in bar 7. Add similar curves to all of the flautando strings. Step 4. Finishing touches. We don't want to have shiny strings here, so we will use static timbre adjust values for all of our flautando strings. Set them to values in the middle range, between 70 and 80. In addition, we also want to fine tune the legato transitions to sound a little bit more smeared. For this purpose, the legato blur slider can be used. With the value set to zero, the legato transitions sound very clean, so let's increase it to get a more blurry sound. We have chosen values around the middle of the range for all flautando strings. We also require a third finishing touch. 
Just like we did with our lead piano, we will utilize the dynamic range slider for all flautando strings as well. We have set our modulation value to a fixed minimum before, so applying a value of around 45 to the dynamic range slider is going to boost the very quiet strings, and our result will sound like this. Moving on to the low strings. The last instrument group added are the bass strings as a foundation, this time without the simulated flautando. We'll use the Velocity Crossfade Sus Mod preset and the Lush Long Mixer preset for the second cello track and double basses. We will be using legatos exclusively here. For the first five notes with soft attack and soft release, for the last notes we'll replace the soft attack with the normal attack. Once again, the mod wheel will help us shape these phrases. Ensure that there is a little gap between phrase one and phrase two, which is in the middle of bar four with a note decay. Afterwards, use the expression slider to increase the overall phrasing. Let's now copy and paste the cello track with the exact same controller assignments into the double basses track and transpose the notes by one octave, and then you're good to go. Only check that the key switches are still triggering the correct articulation, and our low strings will sound like this. Mixing before balancing our individual instrument groups with each other, we will need to fine tune the piano. Some reduction of reverb and adjustments in the EQ will add even more feeling. Increase the main microphone from zero decibels to two decibels and reduce the reverb send to bring the piano a little bit closer. And use these EQ changes to brighten up the sound. Now we can combine everything and fine tune the master volumes to the following values. We'll need to add a global tempo track again. The bass BPM of the song is set to 105, so we just bring in some variation by playing around with plus minus five beats per minute and add a retardando in the last bar. So today we thoroughly covered some new topics in this video. Not only that, we added one of the VSL free instruments as our lead player. We also demonstrated the usage of the dynamic range slider, showed how to emulate flautando by adding a time-stretched tremolo patch on top of the violin patches, used the legato blur feature. So here's our finished song. And for everyone who's curious how this sounds with our brand new Fazioli piano, here's the same track played back by this brilliant grand. This was our first serving suggestion from Volume 2 of orchestrationrecipes.com. There is a second MIDI file available where you can apply what you just learned. Volume 2 gives gorgeous, clear step-by-step -step instructions for creating 21 different cinematic moods and scenarios. Thanks to Philip Johnston for his great work and allowing us to use these pieces for our tutorials. And of course, a sincere thank you for listening, watching, and following along. Feel free to subscribe and like these videos if you'd like to see more serving suggestions. You won't want to miss our next one. It's going to be an epic sounding piece that will certainly lift your spirits. Until then, wipe your tears and see you next time. Bye!